and gentlemen. Monday, new project, new start. Let's show you what we're doing. Now, welcome to what we call Heritage House. Okay, now, upon arrival, we were pricing, quoting for different works around the side, courtyard, wall, new garage, etc. But upon my observation, see if you can see it. See the stacks? Such a light a colour of brick. Straight away, imitations jumped out of me and I said to the client, look, why have we compromised on such a bill? This building dates back, the land was purchased by Mr. Edward Hutchinson in 19, uh, sorry, 1868. The bill was completed in 1870. Such a beautiful build, you know. You know, our landmark, our heritage is the biggest art gallery in the world. You know, our brickwork heritage is unbelievable. It, it sports craftsmanship quality worldwide and is recognized, you know. And we just simply cannot compromise on builds like this. So, upon the inspection, we spoke to the client and um, over a few days, you know, his enthusiasm was fantastic. He said, Dean, I, I wasn't aware, I'm not gonna compromise on this build. This is what we're gonna do. So, all five stacks are to come down and they're to be rebuilt in the infamous London stock. Right, well, I always like to look at these bills. There was a big debate about some English bond work I'd done a couple of weeks ago about broken bonds. So a given measurement doesn't work out to that bond. Like, you don't tighten up. You don't open out. You don't chuck a free quarter in there. Broken bond on English bond, always two headers in a stretch of course. Now, people go and chuck a free quarter in, chuck a free quarter in. Now, this is more what I got taught when I was youngster. The English bond wall is full of headers, stretchers, and the queen closure. It has no free port in it. So the only bricks you should be putting in that wall to repair the bond would be header, queen closure, or a stretcher. You wouldn't put a queen closure in, in the center of the wall, would you? So you bring her back and always header on the stretcher course. So it works out double header, yeah? Now, same in the Flemish bond. See the broken bond here, the given measurement, the given measurement, two headers, 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 yep. And as she steps back, it works back to bond. You see, header stretcher. And he's moved it over to the reveal there. So it will eventually step into bond as the measurement opens out. So for example, if you've got a, uh, a pier in between two windows, it'll always be two headers. Then when you go above the windows and through the build, it will go back to bond, you know, and, and that's the statement. So I know the craftsmanship on here has been fantastic, you know. I mean, obviously it's took a stage of repointing and cleaning, but yeah, lovely. Right, let's show you what originally what I came to do. Now, this garage is to be taken down and rebuilt. Now I'll show you something fascinating. Look at this guy. all the original panelling, the door, the amount of people probably walked in and out this door, it's crazy, so this garage, I mean come through here, walk through the alleyway, beautiful, so what they've done, they've squinted the build to make room, very clever, uh, architectural engineering design, so we're not enclosed, we've got room to get out in case of a fire or just for general everyday access. And again, look at the heights. Obviously the, the door frame heights were a lot smaller in them days. The reason being because genetically we were smaller people. We wasn't tall, you know. I think the average height of a person in England or around the London area was around about five foot five. The women were about five foot, four, four foot nine, you know. So take this all down, rebuild this, We've got a courtyard wall. We're going to turn this into a courtyard, but absolutely displaying the London stock right the way through here, right the way through, and stop end it here. You know, so this area is going to be represent like a courtyard. Now, we was talking to the client. The advantage of this is the London stock, right? The stock brick will cook to a different temperature. They are soft, well, they were soft a bit compared to what the brick is produced now because they're cooked at higher temperatures. Now, the London stock 
absorbs the energy from the day, the heat. So when you come out here, this will be a self-contained, heated area, lovely. And it, it, and that's why you go down, all, if you go up London, um, or around Manchester, or you go into a pub outside, they'll have a courtyard, and it's all brickwork, and, and it's lovely. So the energy out here, and the aesthetic look, is going to be almost going back in time, but with a scar on it. Now, that scar's going to be, it's newly installed. So we can see that the owner has really tried to replenish the look of the original build, the character, and bring it forward. And I'm all for that, you know. More and more drawings are landing on my desk, gentlemen, with more detail. People want history. People want a story to tell in their home. They're fed up with these boxes, you know. And most of the boxes you can't even fucking build right anyway. Do you know what I mean? Have you seen some of this stuff? But, um, but yeah, so it's looking good. You know, and this is what I'm about, preaching this knowledge, getting everyone, um, um, getting everyone on, on, on the same sort of path of our knowledge, you know, and um, moving forward and bringing it. So, right, gentlemen, so this will be episode one. I will film. I've got loads of um, footage I've got to put up, but I leave my radio on. I right? listen to this, so I've done a video. It's over an hour long. Me building a radius out of English Bond, free hand, and um, it blocked it because of the music in the background. And I'm fitting, come on, Rolling Stones, the Beatles. Do you really want to learn off of me? A little old brick there with a radio, and you can hear it hard to hear it. I uploaded it twice, it blocked it twice. I've had to edit it, voice it over. So we're going to get some more footage up for you, gentlemen, because I, I'll get stuck quite a, a lot, in fact, loads, about me work and stuff and me videos. So. We're gonna do it. It's just sometimes when I work, I like to just, you, you see me when I work, I'm honest, my radio's on, I just plug on. You know, I don't zoom in and zoom out and do all this flash crazy stuff. All we do is clip it, so. But we'll get what we can on here. Interesting build, gentlemen. Listen, stay tuned. Like and subscribe, as they say. Is it? Hit the notification button. That's a lot about YouTube, but that's a lot. But anyway, gentlemen, let's go. Let's get this work done. So up here now, what we've got, is the stacks now to be honest with you the craftsmanship's good it's not too bad you know i've seen a lot worse you know but the choice of material what they've done they've used an old lbc heather up the top there so you can see the underside isn't face side look at this one in the center there so the choice of material isn't being too good i mean this is the what they've used the imitation it's like comparing water to a, a mature wine. You know, look at the bloody difference. So, all of you can look around, see the stacks? Every stack has to now come down carefully, Nick, because we've got slate on the roof already. There's a bit at the back, so we'll work it out so we're very careful and tidy. There'll be no fun of the bricks on the scaffolding to the skip. The bricks will be hotted down because I learned this a long time ago. Debris splitting, flying up, chipping windowsill, stonework, and that we don't want that, so everything's done carefully. So these stacks will now be rebuilt in the London stock. I'll show you something else quickly as well. Do you want to see a bit of magic? Do you? Do you? Right. The Flemish Bond. Ready? Walakazam, Balakazam, now you see it, now you don't. What's common is what I call the matrix, the new school. You know, um, let's not dig at the new school, but as I'm just trying to pass on my knowledge. You know, get in, get out, blah, blah, blah. Listen, they reverse it, the stretcher bond here, on the sides, on the back. You know why? Just because finish bonds a lot more work, you know. To me, how could you compromise such heritage? And all we've got nice details going all the game. Obviously, you've got the sailing course, the head of a 45. You know, um, like I said, the craftsmanship isn't too bad, but it's all coming down to what my job on here is is to take everything down that's been done and rebuild correctly, aesthetically, and finish off this build. You know, um, a little bit of passion has to come to this gentleman, as always. But yeah. 
go around to the, the rear elevation. Again, you've got the detail going around the head of the build. All these have come up. The stacks down. What they were doing, we're raking the joint out, and it almost looks like they were sponging it in. Sponging it in. It's a lime mix. They were sponging it in. So this will come down. This will come down. All this head will come through. Jump up here. The same as this. This, like I said, the cost isn't too sad, but the choice of material, you know, upon closer inspection, you're going to find fault like anything, you know, it's like looking at me watch like that, you know. Bootwork inspections always. I don't like the finish on that either. Not a true, you know. Gauging's lost a bit. I'd like to see the last brick laid level, level, you know, level lines as you can see there. We're half inch, an inch high. So, but looking at this stack here, I mean, aesthetically, you feel that on someone's as a new build, you'd probably get maybe over the moon with it, you know? They'll be over the moon with it. But this is the difference what, I'm, what I, I preach on here, you know, talking about just getting it done and getting away, you know? Now, my philosophy is enjoy what you do, enjoy what you do. When you enjoy what you do, you care about what you do. When you care about what you do, you produce good work. When you produce good work, the money follows. The reputation exceeds yourself, you know? And that's that was the original aspect, the, the, the mindset of the bricklayer. You know, not like I'll oh, get the idiot sticks up, let's lash in, let's do pans and pan out and nonsense. Right, come on. I'll see what I'm this down. So, I don't know if you can see around here, hips around there as well. So, we've got some work to do. So, we've got the match. Today's about taking down, getting some sort of pattern going, organisation. Um, I'll get the 500 off. I've got my van driver going to pick up another uh, 500 today. And then we'll get the other 300 probably tomorrow or saying. So let's go. So here we are, last bit of coordinating. Nice red. You see, to go on the 45, they go snap tether. They all go right in the top of them stacks. Look absolutely lovely. Um, boys at the job now, finishing the last bits of demolition, taking down and prep work. And, um, and then we're gonna go there this afternoon, set a plan out. Sammy boy will be cutting the closures, snap tethers on the stocks um, and some three quarters. So we're all ready, so that'll be loaded with a uh, plan of action of laying to more. Lime, sand, white cement to turn up this afternoon. So that will be us. Everything on sync, ready to go. Yeah. 